Boost Mobile just launched three new plans under their entirely new overhaul brand, but if you wanted to sign up for one of them, you might notice something interesting. Going through the checkout flow, you'll notice that immediately, as soon as you make your payment and finish the purchase, it immediately tells you that they're going to send you a physical SIM card in the mail. At no point during the checkout process does it ever ask you for your phone's IMEI to check if it's capable of a physical SIM card, and some people just want to activate with an eSIM instead, because you can activate right away without having to wait for shipping. And in this case, with the iPhone 15 I have here, I can't use a physical SIM card because it is eSIM only. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to activate a new Boost Mobile line using eSIM after you've completed the purchase already online. So first thing you gotta do is get the Boost Mobile app on your phone. You can do this for free on the App Store, Google Play Store. We're going to click sign in. Now we're just going to sign in with the email we use at the point of checkout. So I'm gonna put that in. And then it's going to send a code to that email. So we're gonna check our email for that verification code and then enter it in. So once we click sign in, it'll tell you it's authenticated. And now we are entering in the Boost Mobile app. So now we gotta go into our phone's settings to check the IMEI number and then paste it in there and hit continue. From there, you can see we can activate it with eSIM, which again, they did not give us this option on the website, but it is possible from the Boost Mobile app on your phone so we're gonna hit start activating i'm gonna get a new number and make sure your phone is connected to wi-fi as you can see this one is and we're gonna hit activate so i did end up getting that notice that the boost eSIM is ready so it may take a little bit i think it took about five minutes for me to receive it but it will end up working so just make sure your phone is on wi-fi and patiently wait for it until your phone gets it then um, you can simply get it activated and wait for the process to finish. So now the setup is complete, so we're gonna hit done, and now it is ready to go. If we go into our status bar here, we can see Boost is active, but now I wanna know, is this a rainbow SIM? Is this one of those SIM cards that has all three networks on it, the native dish, AT&T, and T-Mobile together? So I'm going to turn off Wi-Fi and then check in the iPhone's field test to find out what network we're actually on, and as we can see, by the PLMN being 313, 340. This is connected to the native DISH network, meaning yes, when you activate a Boost Mobile eSIM on a compatible phone, this is an iPhone 15, you will get native DISH service. So let's just run a speed test to make sure. We can see DISH Wireless up here. So we are definitely on the native DISH network and that's some really good performance. So we got 370 down and looks like the upload speed is struggling quite a bit though from 2.5 upload. Now when we open up the Boost Mobile app, you can see my account is right here. We have our line activated along with the payment we have due and some add-ons we can get for the plan as well. So that is how to activate a new Boost Mobile line via eSIM. I know it's not the most straightforward process when doing it on the website. You do have to go through purchasing on the website first, setting up your account, then downloading the app on your phone and installing it from there. I don't know if they're going to still ship me a physical SIM card or if the system recognizes that it's already active and doesn't need to. So I guess I'll find out. But the point is we have it activated now through the Boost Mobile app. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, don't forget to drop a like to let me know, subscribe to never miss the next one, and I'll see you there.